The joint statement, we condemn the council members who abandoned the Yemeni people by not supporting the renewal of the mandate of the GEE. This failure of the council gives the green light to all parties to the conflict to continue their campaign of death and destruction in Yemen. We demand an international criminal investigative mechanism. Anything less is unacceptable. We welcome the establishment of the SR on human rights and climate change and the council's historic recognition of their right to a healthy environment. These are important steps towards environmental justice. We welcome the adoption of the resolution on cooperation with the UN, in particular the invitation to the Secretary General to submit his annual reprises report to the General Assembly. We welcome that the resolution on equal participation underscores the importance of protecting civil society participation at every level. We welcome the resolution on privacy and encourage the core group to call for a ban on technologies that cannot operate in compliance with human rights. The establishment of a SR in Afghanistan, supported by additional and dedicated expertise, should bring much needed scrutiny. It should be a first step towards the full-fledged investigative and monitoring mechanism that the situation warrants. We regret that the Council has not responded to the calls of civil society and the evidence of widespread violations in Cameroon, China, Egypt, the Philippines, and Saudi Arabia, where situations warrant international investigation and accountability mechanisms. Sudan is still facing significant challenges, including threats of the militarization of the state, which is also the most challenging peril for women's rights and women defenders. The Council's decision to discontinue formal monitoring and reporting is premature. While we welcome the renewal of the mandate on Libya, we regret that it has only been extended for nine months, and while we also welcome the renewal of the mandate in Cambodia, the Council should mandate enhanced monitoring and reporting by the High Commissioner, and while the extension of international scrutiny in Burundi is welcome, it is vital for the Council to rely on benchmarks to design the next steps of its action. On Nicaragua, we urge the Council to ensure an adequate response at its next session, including the establishment of an international mechanism. Last but not least, to commemorate International Safe Abortion Day, more than 300 organizations demanded free, safe, and accessible abortion for everyone.